Did you know that smoking weed causes eyelid flutters? Now it's not a perfect science, but it's for sure one of the tools cops use. More on that next. The THC in marijuana affects the smooth muscle cells throughout the human body. And that often results in the muscle spasms known as body tremors. Now body tremors are most easily detected when looking at a person's closed eyelids. And these tremors are referred to as eyelid flutters. And it's known by cops to be present when they smoke marijuana. Not when the cops smoke marijuana, when people smoke marijuana. Now, the weird thing is that not everyone gets eyelid flutters when they smoke. And I'm not sure if it's genetic, how high the person is, or maybe it just really depends on good weed, how good the weed is. But in my 13 years as a cop, I use flutter, eyelid flutters as an investigative tool hundreds of times. I've seen some dudes whose eyes were fluttering so bad it looked like they were wide open. Now, I'm really fascinated by this topic, and as far as I know, it hasn't been really formally researched. Anyway, so how do cops use this? I personally use it across a broad array of investigations. Most of the people I interviewed, I wanted to see if they were high. If I suspected they were smoking marijuana, I would always check for eyelid flutters. Now, this didn't mean I was gunning for the person or trying to arrest him. I just wanted to know what I was dealing with. Everyone thinks they know the crazy stuff that cops hear on a regular basis, but I'm not sure that people really understand how crazy it gets. Sometimes people tell you the wildest things that you can even imagine, and it's 100% true. And then other times, the same wild story is someone's drug-induced delusion. Eyelid flutters were a tool to help me weed that out. Like that weed? More importantly for this video, I use eyelid flutters oftentimes to lead to arrest. Let's say I find weed in the car, nobody wants to fess up to it. I'd had everybody tilt their head back, close their eyes, and if only one person had eyelid flutters, that's where I was directing my attention to. Not to mention, eyelid flutters led to many a DUI arrest. Time for a funny story where I use eyelid tremors. Late in my police career, I had the opportunity to serve as a hostage negotiator. Now, we didn't get called out too much. I'd say eight to ten times per year. But in one of our call-outs, it was to a home invasion robbery. Two guys and a girl were in, a, in the garage smoking weed mixed with a little bit of K2. The owner who was in the house thought he heard someone breaking into the house and went to go check on it. He ran upstairs, got his 9mm SIG, and proceeded to get into a shootout with his shadow. The two friends that were still downstairs freaked out. The girl hid in the bedroom closet and the other guy went upstairs. So this prompted a full-scale, high-risk incident command call-out. SWAT, the hostage team, and bomb team, we all responded to set up a staging area. Big-time stuff. Well, while we're getting called out, this girl that's in the closet called 911, and she was patched through to the hostage negotiation truck. So our hostage negotiator gets her and convinces her to run out of the house to the safety of the waiting SWAT officers. Now... I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but there's a large percentage of home invasion robberies that are drug related. So our baseline working assumption up to this point was that the guy living in the house had just picked up or offloaded a lot, of, a lot of dope or a lot of cash, and these were his competitors trying to take the money or the dope. Anyway, once the female hostage had escaped the safety of SWAT, they brought her back to the command post. It was one of my jobs to interview her. I was on the interview team or the intel team. So during this interview, some stopped making sense and I start asking questions. And I asked her to close her eyes and her eyelids were fluttering pretty bad. And it was at that point that the clues all started to unravel. So enough war stories. What does this mean for you? If you're a weed smoker, I suggest that you check yourself for eyelid flutters while you're straight and while you're high. You can do this by having a friend look at you or you can see it for yourself by recording it with your cell phone in the mirror. To check for this, tilt your head back close your eyes and look for the muscles, the eyelid muscles to twitch or the eyelids to twitch. Now, if you record this, record it for about 10 to 15 seconds and I'd love to see the videos. Add a link to the comments so I can check it out. So here's what you say if the cop asks you to tilt your head back and close your eyes. Officer, I really need to leave. I'm not sure what you're trying to do here, but I don't want to cooperate with anything that's going to lay, delay me from being released. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have a legal problem in Florida, give me a call. I'd love to give you a consultation. Let me know if you're a subscriber and you get a subscriber's discount.